Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Tasnia Ahmed. I have completed my undergraduate degree in Civil Engineering from Military Institute of Science and Technology, Bangladesh. It is one of the top ranked engineering university of Bangladesh providing quality education in the field of science, engineering and technology and conduct research to meet the national and global challenges. Today I am going to present my research titled Dynamic behavior of carbon, galvanized iron, and glass textile reinforced concrete subjected to impact loading. The other authors of this research are Dr. Muhammad Jahidul Islam, Sheikh Muhammad Fahad bin Imam, and Muhammad Ifaz. I'm going to proceed with my presentation. Textile reinforced concrete or TRC is a type of high strength concrete reinforced with textiles of fibers such as glass fiber, GI fiber, carbon fiber, etc. combining the advantages of fiber reinforced concrete and ordinary reinforced concrete. Alternative reinforcement materials have been searched since steel is susceptible to corrosion. TRC could be a better solution in replacing conventional reinforced concrete systems in various fields. In this presentation, I am going to cover background of the study, objectives, research methodology, test results and discussion, and conclusion. We gathered some knowledge and information from the previous researches conducted on TRC. TRC structures have less thickness than steel reinforced concrete, so it is more economical due to lesser raw materials. They appear to be 30% more environment friendly compared to ordinary RC systems. Carbon fiber textiles show better performance in TRCs than any other textiles, but as it is much expensive, $1.3 per square feet, GI fiber textiles can be an option as it is less expensive, $0.70 cents per square feet. It can be a new improvement if GI fiber textiles can show similar performance as carbon fiber textiles. TRC is used for retrofitting and architectural works. It is also used to make some full structures like food bridges, small cottages, etc. It creates different irregular shapes which is very difficult by RC systems. The objective of our research was to investigate the dynamic behavior of carbon, galvanized iron and glass textile reinforced concrete against impact loading. In the research methodology section, I'm going to cover the materials used in sample preparation, textile reinforcements, mixed design, sample preparation process, and experimental setup. Two types of samples were prepared that are cylinder for obtaining a perfect mixed design and TRC plates on which impact load test was done. Experimental setup covers the setup of compressive strength test, union cell tensile strength test, and impact load test. Materials Ordinary Portland cement was used to make the concrete mixture. Fly ash was used to replace the unreacted cement. Well graded and gap graded sand was used. Because of the smaller opening of the textiles, maximum aggregate slice was 2.36 mm. A high performance super plasticizer admixture was used. GI fibers of 0.5% of cement weight was used in the concrete mixture having aspect ratio of 72 to increase the mechanical properties. Four types of textile reinforcements were used which are glass textile, GI textile of square and diagonal orientation and carbon textile. By several iterative attempts, we found a water cement ratio of 0.36 being highly effective with textile reinforcement considering the replacement of about 30% of cement by fly ash. Slump height was found zero which indicates that the workability of the mix is very low. Sample preparation To perform grab tensile strength test, fiber textile specimen and textile reinforced mortar were made. Steel grip was attached using epoxy resin. The size of the specimen was 50 mm by 300 mm. The thickness for TRM specimens were 12 mm where 6 mm concrete cover was provided. TRC plates of 300 mm length and 170 mm width were made for dynamic loading test. 25, 50 and 75 mm thick plates were prepared. 12.5 mm concrete cover was provided from both sides for each plate. 
For the uniaxial tensile strength test, the grips of the specimen were inserted inside the machine. Loading rate was 5 mm per minute for textile and 1 mm per minute for TRM. Drop weight impact test was done on TRC plates according to ACI Committee 554. 4.49 kg compaction hammer falling from 457 mm height provided impact load. A high resolution camera was used to calculate velocity. From the uniaxial tensile strength test of fiber, we found that carbon and square oriented GI fiber has more tensile strength compared to other textile fibers. Carbon fiber appears to have minimum deflection and maximum tensile strength. 2.3% higher tensile strength than square-oriented GI fiber. Carbon and square-oriented GI fiber was used as reinforcement in the uniaxial tensile strength of TRM. From the graph, it is seen that the failure load of carbon fiber TRM is slightly higher than GI fiber. GI fiber TRM had more deflection compared to that of carbon fiber. Cylinder specimens were tested by a compression testing machine after 7 days, 28 days and on the test day. The compressive strength of cylinder specimens increased 46% after 28 days curing and 112% on the plate test day. Impact load was applied to the plates until they failed. Number of blows needed for the plates to fail was observed. With the increase in thickness, number of blows increased proportionally. Using this data, various properties are measured. The obtained result was compared with a research where they used 0.5% steel fiber. Our obtained blow numbers were 3 to 4 times higher. From the velocity of the falling hammer, dynamic and static impact energy of the plates was measured using the equation shown here. Carbon textile reinforced plates had more impact energy compared to others. However, with the increase in thickness, the difference between carbon and square oriented GI fiber reinforced plates decreased. These results were again compared with a research for 0.5% steel fiber. Our obtained dynamic impact energy was in average 5 times higher. Mass loss was measured using the initial and final mass of the plates. Glass textile reinforced plates undergone maximum mass loss. Carbon and square oriented GI textile reinforced plates showed almost similar percentage of mass loss, almost half compared to glass TRC plates. This result was compared with a research for quad axial carbon fiber textile. Our obtained data were in average 7 times higher. Failure pattern In figure 1, we see the surface where impact load was applied. Figure 2 shows that weaker bonding caused the glass textile to be pulled off of the concrete after ultimate failure occurred. Figure 3 shows that the short GI fibers helped in resisting impact load. And Figure 4 shows that the bond failure was significant more with carbon TRC plates. Lastly, we can conclude that Tensile test of textiles show that carbon textile has 2.4% higher tensile strength than square-oriented GI fiber and comparatively low elongation. TRM with carbon and GI square textiles have almost similar failure load but GI square TRM has 30% higher extension. Drop weight impact test shows that 50 mm thick carbon TRC plates have 117% higher impact energy than 50 mm thick GI square TRC plates, but it decreases to 26% for 75 mm thick plates. Mass loss in GI square and carbon TRC plates have almost similar results. This research work narrates that carbon fiber TRCs show quite better performance than GI square TRCs but in a close range. With the increase in thickness, GI square TRC shows better performance. Therefore, less expensive square oriented GI fiber textile can be an alternative option for carbon fiber textile. Thank you.